for Life and welcome to installment four of our five-part series on blood glucose metabolism. If you joined us for the previous weeks, we gave you a little bit of anatomy and physiology on blood glucose. We talked about Germar, about Catalyst Plus, and this week we're going to talk to you about transfer vector glucose. We're coming to you this week live from our pilot suite where we do some pilot work with encapsulation and blending, showing you some of the neat little toys that we get to play with here in R&D. So I'll turn the time over to Shane and he'll talk to you about transfer factor glucose. So Glucoach obviously is, our, is, is one of our targeted products. Now we're not going to cover some of the ingredients we covered in the past presentations. So go back to Germar, go back to Catalyst Plus presentations and you'll be able to cover some of the ingredients in there. The ingredients that are left, some of those ingredients have been pulled into this product. But obviously this is a targeted product so it has transfer factor in it. Transfer factor obviously supports the immune system. And if your immune system isn't working properly, your bodies have a hard time <clears throat> maintaining their, its, its blood glucose level. Also, it has pterocarpus, which is a, uh, from a heartwood extract out of India. It basically supports the pancreatic organ as well as kind of helps pancreatic health. The other ingredients that uh, we're going to talk a little about are fenugreek, which has been largely known to work well within the intestines. It helps, again, manage that how well the blood, um, how well the sugar ends up getting incorporated into the body uh, through the intestines. And then lastly, about Korean ginseng. Obviously, this ingredient is in a number of our products, and it has a benefit from an adaptogenic standpoint. It helps the body respond to those areas it needs to respond to, and ultimately uh, helps the body recover and, and be able to play an important role in that, in that healthy metabolism of glucose. Thanks, Shane. That's some good information there. And remember, as you start any new dietary supplement, you should talk to your doctor first to make sure it's appropriate for you and it works with other therapies and treatments you may be receiving. I appreciate your attention this week, and we look forward to seeing you next week when we're going to kind of wrap up the whole series and show you how these products work together. Thank you. We'll see you next week. See you next week.